Hey guys, so for today's video here on Ataraxia, I'll be giving away 50 Ataraxia dollars. If you want to enter, make sure and like the video, comment down below your IGN, and subscribe. Make sure to be notified as well, the first comment will get 15 of those for free. This is a great 926 NXT RuneScape Private Saver. If you're joining for me guys, make sure when it asks you if you're coming from anybody to select player, then type in Rect you. You'll get yourself a free tier 70 setup. And if you donate any dollars guys, like $10, I'll get a dollar back. Stuff like that, so it's truly helpful and you get hooked up. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go. This person keeps spawning like every so often, giving me like free XP, I'll take it. We're gonna vote real quick, get the, uh, you know, vote book, some more double experience tomes, and have fun. Anyways, we voted, we got 6.25 mil, five double XP tomes, and five vote points per usual. We got more damage drop rate boost and all that. Very useful. We also got an extra 5k loyalty points for voting, which is pretty decent. Full inventory. All right, almost a full inventory of Mithror. There we go. Let's head over to the Artisan Workshop. Oh, there's also a server update in two minutes. There is quite a bit of lag, so I'm sure the owner's fixing that. But yeah, let's deposit this in the furnace. We can create some Mithril bars. We can do the equipment after this, and we'll see how much smithing level we have. Here we go. We're creating a Mithril plate body right now. Now, in order to make it go faster, make sure you heat your item as well right here on the forge. Now you'll notice it's going up a lot quicker. I was getting like 1 XP per tick. Now I'm getting a ton more and a way faster XP. All right, item should be done and we have 45 smithing with that. Now we're doing our mithril helmet. Go ahead and create some more bars. All right, here we go. 50 smithing. Let's freaking get it. I'll, I'll finish off the item might as well. We also got ourselves a, a treasure hunter key with times four. Come on. Four huge prismatic fallen star, bro. Let's go. I'm going to be more, you know, cautious how I use these. Last time I did it all on prayer. We have a lot of bonus XP though. So we'll use the lamp on dungeon airing. Why not? To meet a 69 dunge, dude. We'll also use all the huge stars on dungeon airing as well. I, I want to hit 90 and what's the quickest way than doing it like this? 72 mining and 50 smithing. We're gonna sit here at Luminidor. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some rune bars and create some rune armor. See how far we get, guys, and we'll go back and try out some other stuff. But yeah, I was just trying to get 90 real quick so we could eventually create this Elder Rune gear, which will help our PVM grinds significantly. So that's a big goal for us. That's what we wanted to start today's episode off by doing. Just getting some more stats, getting closer to it. Feels good. All right, currently creating our room bars. Not sure how much uh, smithing levels I'll receive throughout this, but I have like four set plate bodies I can currently do. And we're getting 1k XP drop, so pretty fat. I'll complete all these up in just a bit. Right now, let's go do a bit of PVM. Now, I just unlocked Ancient Magics, which you don't have to do any quests like you do on RuneScape 3. That's so sick. So now we'll actually be able to do a ton more DPS for sure. Should be able to clap out these tasks a lot quicker. We have a uh, Slayer task right now, guys, which is Jungle Strike Worms, and I think we'll do this today, so let's go. Just hit 90 magic. Feels freaking good. Also, just hit 89 Slayer. Let's go. We got 31 Book of Knowledges. Just use one for 25% more bonus experience. Now, I think the task was like 95 of these, so we're definitely going to be here for a second. 90 Slayer, unlock Dark Beast. Actually, quite a bit of stuff with 90. Very, very good. Hey, we got some uh, Stone Spirits. Those are definitely useful. I wonder how I get like a bulk amount. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. All right, well, we got 93 magic and 95 defense. Should be quite close to completing the task. Also, just hit 94 Slayer. Ooh, a uh, Silk Clue Scroll Heart. I'll take that. I also feel quite stupid. I just activated my damage drop rate boost and I didn't have it active for like the entire Slayer task. I've been here for like 45 minutes. We're at 93 Constitution. We're like base 90s, dude. 96 defense, 94 magic. We looking pretty good let's go finally task complete i swear that took me ages but it's done that's all that matters let's get out of here dude we just got ourselves a uh, skilling contract which is complete five of the gnome courses so let's go do that skilling contracts have been super fun so i'm definitely going to keep up with that as well so yeah we'll do five of these runs real quick and then go back to our smithing to complete up our rune pieces we were creating the stats are looking pretty fresh I will say. So there we go. Skilling contract should be done. We also got like 40 freaking agility right there, dude. I will take it. Now we'll go ahead and do the bodies and I'll be back, guys. So yeah. Okay. So we're at 68 smithing. We ended up creating a, a room play body one. Regular play body and play legs. We can do this up to like plus four, which is pretty OP. That's what we'll do when we get the outer rune as well. I also just found out that with uh, skilling contracts, guys, the rewards are scaled. So if we complete like a lot per day or globally, 
we'll get a lot of rewards we can get free bones which is insane prayer xp stuff like that so we're gonna start going hard on skilling contracts these are super freaking fun guys look at this we have ourselves ak dunge tokens last episode i was like oh my god we're getting 100 they were scaled i was actually getting a lot more than i thought so reaching a chaotic shouldn't be terribly hard now Bell's freaking good i'm just so happy that i'm getting more tokens than i thought before also i was doing shadow reef and i want you guys to know right now that the xp is nothing like runescape 3 how it's like scaled on runescape 3 it's not like that on you know ataraxia so doing elite dungeons could be good money but the xp is gonna be nothing like runescape 3 so i wanted to put that in there i'm gonna sway away from ed3 now so we'll do one run real quick see how many points we actually receive on a complexity four room four i'll be honest i'm not the biggest fan of dungeoneering i would love to do elite dungeons instead but once i get my chaotics i'll be happy all right open blue pentagon key and we are at the boss let's clap the boss out see how many points we get for a complexity four room four all right if we camp this for a while we'll definitely get a shit ton of points i've already noticed that with doing a few and almost having 10k let's see fucking die jesus we had like shit armor for that run i need to start binding gear boom 153 tokens let's go check also uh 70 dungeoneering unlock feels good but yeah one of those from 7k to basically 9k you can see it scales also once you do larger dungeons that'll also be better we also completed another adventure challenge which is dungeoneering times four for four small prismatic lamp oh at times five god chest bro this could be very nice luck five small prismatic fallen star well all right guys i'm gonna wrap the episode up right there i hope you all enjoyed episode four on ataraxia big gains coming over 1400 total level feels so good i'll see you on the next one have a great day and peace